Well, welcome to the real story. Two more banks were taken over by the federal government last weekend. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Merrill Lynch is dumping about $30 billion of new crappy mortgages for 22 cents on the dollar. Hurry while the sale lasts. And a leading housing index today showed that May had the steepest rate of price declines ever. Prices are now, <laughs> prices are now down nearly 16% from a year ago. That's not good, right? Well, as I see it, that depends on who you listen to. The real story is, if you don't like the message, just hire a new messenger. So if you're in the market for some good news, I mean, isn't everybody hoping for change? Let me give you some change here. Let me introduce you to the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors. First up is a guy named David LeRae. Um, he's not with the National Association of Realtors anymore, but oh, what a magical ride it had been. In 2005, just before the housing market was about to peak, LeRae wrote a book called, Are You Missing the Real Estate Boom? Why Home Values and Other Real Estate Investments Will Climb Through the End of the Decade and How to Profit from Them. Good advice and good timing there, Dave. No, seriously. Unfortunately, times have been tough for Dave, but things are about to get much, much worse for him. You see, I have this entire staff of people with not a lot to do. You know, they just sit upstairs waiting for me to tell them to do something because we're not really in the fact business on this show. You know, once in a while I'm like, hey, why don't we try some facts tonight? Let's give that a whirl, see what happens. So I gave him a little project. I said, go find what this guy has been saying for the last few years and then, just for fun, let's plot it on a graph of housing prices and see what we got. Well, here it is. We start in August 2005, when Larray wasn't buying any of the fear-mongering from, you know, people like me who were, run, who were warning, run for your lives. We've taken all the dot-com money and just put it into real estate. He said, quote, all of the doom and doom, uh, gloom and doom forecasts of housing debacle are not only irresponsible, but they're downright wrong. I, I was thinking to myself, oh, maybe. Here's April 06. Wheels are starting to come off of housing, but Dave's not worried. He said, quote, this is going to be the third strongest year on record. November 2006, quote, worst is behind us. February 07, home prices weren't rising, but LeRae saw nothing but sunshine and lollipops. He says, 2007, promises to be the fourth best year on record. Now here's March 07. Prices are starting to collapse, but don't worry. Quote, a modest recovery remains likely. Housing remains a great long-term investment. Please, somebody buy my book. <laughs> I mean, if he's talking long, 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 long term, maybe he's right. Now, this is about the time where things were going to change because two big things happened. First, the National Association of Realtors ran this TV ad. When you have a family, it's always a good time to buy. It's a great move up market. In this market, there's a lot of options. The interest rates are low. This is the best market in years in terms of choice. Interest rates are at historic lows. Home choices have increased and prices are favorable. <laughs> mm -hmm, favorable. If you bought a house because of that ad, your wallet's probably not feeling the favorable part right now. Prices are down 14% since that ran, but remember, Long, 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 long-term investment, still good. Second big thing happened, and that was that uh, David LeRae mercifully left the NAR. I guess he wasn't optimistic enough, so he was replaced by Lawrence Yun, otherwise known as Sonny Yunny. Just one of those facts that we found today. Look it up, it's true. Anyway, November 2007, Sonny Yunny kicks off his career with this quote. I don't anticipate any further major sales declines. Then, January 2008, as housing prices uh, continue to plummet, a meaningful recovery in existing home sales could occur as early as spring. Uh, sunny, isn't it? Summer right now? Then, February 2008, quote, the market is scratching the bottom. And finally, just last week, there are signs of pent-up demand. I think we're very near the end of this housing downturn. Ooh. Wow, I feel so much better. I thought we were actually having tough times. And actually, given his track record, if Sonny Yunny is calling a, you know, a market bottom, then still might be time to dump my house. I guess it all goes to show that if you want honest advice about your home, now listen to the people who are trying to make a living selling them.